Right oh you lot, how's it going? So let's this is gonna be a quick and easy little video because it's a simple thing. If you've got the problem where you've stripped out the threads um, on your engine for your glow plug, you might be thinking, oh no man, this is gonna be you know, it's an engine, it, it, it's bound to be complicated, it's bound to be expensive, it's bound to be difficult to fix. Well no it's not. Um, it, it's an extremely easy thing, thing to th fix. Um, I can't speak today, don't worry about that. It's a very easy thing to fix um, if you have stripped out the threads. And you'll know if you strip the threads out, and I'll explain and show you what stripping the threads is in a minute. But if, you, if you've got the, the um, hold on. If you've got the spanner on your glow plug like that and you're doing it up But it just keeps on spinning around it just keeps on spinning around and spinning around and spinning around and it's not ever getting tight That means you probably stripped the threads out um, And the threads in there are ruined um, So what you need to do it's not hard you need to go and get yourself you need to look down in there You know one two three four some engines are different They might have five or different or free depending on if you've got a new or an old or a vintage engine or whatever it is normally there's four screws uh, you can probably see one in there one in there say so one two three four okay so you need to go and look to see what they are some engines they're allen bolts with an allen head some of them are screws so like a flat head or a phillips head quite unlikely um it'll it'll leave it most likely these days it'll be Allen. So get yourself an Allen driver. So on this particular engine, they are a 2.5 mil head on these bolts, and you just need to undo them. So it's a good idea to do them in a, undo them and do them up in a cross fashion. So one there, one there, one there, one there. Just undo them all the way, and then eventually your head, which is this red part here, might be a different colour on your engine, will come off. One thing I must stress is um for, for those of you that are you know the, the diy or, or the um less experienced amongst you even for an experienced person trying to drill those bolts out will be difficult so make sure you've definitely got the right size for your bolts because if you've got the if you end up rounding off the heads on those bolts it, it's going to be more difficult to try and get a drill bit in there and drill up drill off the bolts the, the heads to those bolts um, you know, if you're worrying about changing the threads on your glow plug, you, you're going to be in a more world of trouble. So be careful. Just make sure you've got the right size for that, and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, and then you'll unscrew them, and that will come off like that. Now, this is why it's so easy, because all you've got to do now is take that off of there. There's your piston. Here is your... This, this thing is called a button, and obviously there's your glow plug inside. Um... All you've got to do is buy a new button. You can, if you're, you know, somewhat of a DIYer, um, you can try to re-tap the button. Here's another one. All you have to do is get the right size tap and just put it through there and just chase those threads through to try and reconstruct the threads and you might be able to make it so that you can the the, the, glow, the glow plug will go back in again as long as the threads on the glow plug aren't but it's more than likely the button's going to be had had it anyway so if you don't want to try and fix the threads on the uh, on the button what you got to do look up what engine you've got and then go to your local hobby shop or um, go to Model Sport, Answer RC, Luke's RC Shop, um, Wheelspin Models, any of those shops, or even just go to eBay if you want, and search in the engine you've got, and button obviously, or some people call them a burn room, get a new one, and then it's just a reverse. Once you've got your new one, you put that on there. You don't have to have the glow plug in it. It doesn't have to be in there. You can have the glow plug in or out. Make sure that the... Uh, oh, make sure you've got your shims on there. <coughs> Excuse me. You need to count how many shims you've already got. These shims... Can you see them? Little washers around there. See? Little washers. You need to count how many of them you've got on it already. And if you get a new button, make sure you put the right amount of shims back on there and put it on there like that line up the holes 
like that. Make sure your holes are all lined up properly, otherwise your, your, your bolts won't go in. And then it's just, just the reverse. Put your head on whatever way you want it to go. Some heads are directional. Make sure you get that right. Good to take a note of what direction it was in before you took it off. Um, put it on there. Do them up. Bob's your uncle. Fanny is your aunt. Now I must, uh, it's quite, it's very important, so I must stress this. Um, when you do up these head bolts, all four of them, you must do them in an equal fashion. So you do them up, you start them, you know, like that. Cross, 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 cross. When they start to start to get tight, so you say you're doing this one, starting to get tight, and then you move to this one. Starting to get a little bit tight, move to this one, a little bit tight, this one, a little bit tight. And then you go back to the first one, and then you tighten it up a bit more. And you keep going in that cross fashion until they're all tight. Don't just do one really tight, that one really tight, that one really tight. Because you need to bring the head down equally. Because if you bring the head down and it's a bit skew with, it won't create a very good seal, you'll lose compression, it'll just cause all kinds of problems um, and you could even strip out the head bolts, the threads in the head, uh, in the uh, block, sorry. So just make sure you do them in a cross fashion. But there you go, now you've changed your button, you should have good threads in your glow plug now. Make sure that you put the glow plug in straight. If When you put your glow plug in, if it's tight straight away, it's cross threaded. Don't tighten it up, undo it, take it out, put it in straight and make sure. It should be nice and loose. You should be able to turn it nice and loose and it will go tight at the very end. Okay, so if it's tight straight away, stop. Because that's when you strip out the threads and you could cross thread it and then you'll have to do the same all over again. Or perhaps this will help you avoid doing that in the first place. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. Remember, love life, treat everybody the same. We're all equal. And I'll catch you later on.